Hi, my name's Jenny and I work for Mallory Valley Utility District and this video is about pressure reducer valves. Mallory Valley must maintain adequate levels of water pressure in the public water mains in order to move and deliver water to all parts of the area. In addition, the distribution system is gravity fed and that means that water pressure can vary greatly from one area to another. The district cannot regulate or guarantee water pressure on the customer side of the meter, and pressure reducer valves are required by city plumbing codes. Pressure reducer valves are a type of valve installed in the plumbing of residential homes and commercial buildings to regulate water pressure. The purpose of a PRV is to reduce the incoming levels of water pressure from the public water mains to a level that is safe for a customer's plumbing system. The PRV also provides water pressure consistency and can be used as a water conservation tool. By lowering water pressure, water is conserved. This is an example of what a pressure reducer valve looks like for a three-quarter inch water meter. PRVs can be installed right behind the water meter on the service line. Installation here will protect your water service line as well as the plumbing inside your home from higher or fluctuating water pressures coming from the public water mains. In a moment, We'll uncover this PRV and show you an example of one that is installed behind the meter on the service line. What are the symptoms of a pressure reducer valve that is no longer working properly? A change in water pressure inside the home is a good indication. This change could be sudden or gradual and the pressure could either increase significantly or decrease. A banging or high-pitched whistling noise coming from the pipes, usually when the water is being turned off, is another indication. Pressure reducer valves should be installed by a licensed plumbing professional, and Mallory Valley recommends pressure levels no greater than 70 PSI. Public water safety is important to all of us. If you have any questions, comments or concerns, please contact your local water department. 